This box is pretty damn plain, but what's on the inside might actually be pretty damn cool. So let's check it out. So this is from another company that asked me to review their uh, their product. Um, it's like CR Ret C S R E T. Okay, C S R E T. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's a, it's a 4K HDMI uh, switcher, not a splitter. Well, I guess actually it's kind of a switcher and a splitter kind of all in one. We'll check it out, but it's kind of like that because it kind of says it on here. Um, so yeah, this thing is actually pretty feature packed. Let's go ahead and check it out. Um, the box is pretty plain, but I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing, of course. So here up, uh, I guess let's check out the remote first. So yeah, pretty sweet stuff. HDMI, true matrix. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, basically the reason why it has A and B is it has two outputs and it has four inputs. So you have four inputs and then you can change each output. So it's two channel on top and then 5.1 channel, ADV, ARC, or SPDIF. Okay, cool. Yep, looks like it just has one of those coin battery things already in it. So that's cool. Yeah. So yeah, nice remote. Uh, here is the box itself. Very big, but there's kind of a reason why it's so big because it's kind of populated with a lot of stuff on the back here. So let's get it out of the plastic and check it out. By the way, I hope you guys like the, uh, the, the bed sheets. Um, back to the, uh, you know, making unboxings on the good old dog bed sheets. Even though I have cats, which I haven't had a video of my cats in a while. If you guys want a video of cats, let me know about that in the comment section. And by the way, I had my subs installed very recently after this video came out. So if you guys want to see some base videos, let me know about that in the comment section as well. If you're watching this video, which you might not be able, or you might not be doing it because this is a technology unboxing. But anyways, okay, come on. Okay, that packaging was a little bit annoying, so I just kind of ripped it up. Um, okay, so yeah, here we go. Uh, I kind of like the color scheme, not gonna lie. It's kind of like a lime green, maybe like NVIDIA green style, and it's nice metal box. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so yeah, here's the front. We got on off, which is, yep, literally a button, so that's good. Uh, you got a power bit, power LED, um, and then you have, like that remote, has A and then B, so I guess like A HDMI going out, and then B HDMI going out, and then you have one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four HDMI going into this thing. So if that makes sense, hopefully it does. If you guys are tech savvy, I'm sure it makes sense. Um, there's the IR receiver right there for remotes. You got uh, ARC, SPDIF, two channel, 5.1 channel, and advanced, I guess. Uh, I believe that's all for audio. A and B, so you can switch. You can probably go do, go down the line of the inputs with A and B. ARC, SPDIF, and then audio. Okay, cool. And these are all like literally buttons, which is cool, I like that. So uh, yeah, and we actually have like little feet on the bottom to keep this thing from sliding around. Yes, good job, CS Ret. I probably need to pronounce this in a different way. CS Ret. I don't know how to pronounce. It. I'm really sorry. But yeah, by the way, it says it's 4K Ultra HD, and uh, I'm gonna have a review of this, of course. Um, I'm gonna test to see if it's actually 4K 60 hertz. I kind of have some doubts to be honest with you, but uh, even if it is 4K 30 hertz, that's still pretty good, I guess. Uh, HMI True Matrix 4x2, cool. So yeah, here we got the power coming in. We got HDMI 1 in, which also supports MHL, which is like, I believe that's like using like smartphones and crap on your TV, pretty sure. HDMI 2, HDMI 3, HDMI 4 in, and then you got the two outputs right here. Output A, eh, or output B, and then output A, so very cool. And then you got the spit-off coming out, and you got the headphone jack as well. So uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I, I like that there's so many features on this. I like especially like the spit-off out, because like a lot of times, like if you have like an HDMI source, sometimes it doesn't have spit-off out. So now you can do it through this, which is definitely pretty sweet, because that's always nice to put that to some external speakers. Uh, you got some vent holes, I guess, along the sides, but uh, beyond that, that's pretty sweet package. Can you, I, I don't think you can like actually like screw this thing to like a base or anything. So like, it'd be nice if like you could like screw it to like a wall or something, but I don't think that would really work with this. But at least it does have the, uh, these little feet on there. That's pretty nice. And I'm sure we need to have a power um, supply. So uh, let's see, actually it comes with, what is this? Oh, okay, look at this. This is HDMI to, uh, this is a U, uh, micro USB, I believe. Wow, that's pretty snazzy, okay. So I'm guessing that's the whole MHL support thing? 
pretty sure. Um, so that's cool that they give you that cord. Looks like a pretty good length as well, which is nice. And then you got the power power adapter, of course. Um, looks pretty basic, I guess, but um, it's a two prong, which is cool. And uh, maybe not too long of a power cord. Um, I guess I can just take it out of this, but uh, maybe not too long of a power cord. It doesn't really look super long, but uh, looks like a pretty decent one. At least it's not going to like cover up like three outlets. Hopefully it'll just cover up one. I think in most cases it maybe covers up like maybe like the one adjacent to it. So that's good. Then we got, thank you for your trust. Okay. that's maybe a weird translation right there. I don't really know. Uh, who cares? And then we got, uh, Japanese. I can read that. JK English. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, user manual. Sweet. Okay, so that's all we got there. I'll be having an unboxing, or uh, this is the unboxing of it. I'll be having a review of this uh, probably within like a week of this coming out. Hopefully, I'm kind of hoping on that at least. And I do have a graphics card that can handle 4K at 60 hertz. So hopefully this thing does support that. If it doesn't, we'll be talking about that in the review. But anyways, thank you guys for checking out this unboxing video. Drop a like on it if you thought it was cool. Uh, comment below if you have any questions about it, I guess, or just wait for my review to come out. And beyond that, uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more technology stuff in the future. And you guys have a crazy motherfucking day. Peace out.